ओम सदाशिव सारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सो वी सॉ द फस्ट टू वर्स थिंक दे वेर प्रेडी स्ट्रेट फॉर्वर्ड दो सो फ्यू हु हैव डन ब्रह्मसूत्र चतुसूत्री विथ मी रूम दट ऑर्डर देर द फस्ट सूत्रा डेल्ट विथ अधिकारित्व फस्ट अतः सेकेंड अतः डेल्ट विथ तस्मा विज्ञानाथ गुरमेवाभिगछेद टू नो द ट्रूथ गो टू अ गुरु सेम ऑर्डर इज बींग फॉलोड युअर यू कैन यू सी दैट वेदर यू आर राइटिंग ए स्मॉल लिटिल टेक्स्ट और ए मेजर एनालिसिस ए सर्टन बेसिक ट्रेडिशन इज बींग फॉलोड ऑल राइट सो अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञास ओके एंड यू सो सम ऑफ द फैक्ट ऑफ वॉट यू आर इन स्वामिनीज क्लास ओके दीज क्लासेज विल ऑलवेज गो कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सो दैट सर्टन थिंग्स वी कैन टेक फॉर ग्रांटेड विथ ईच अदर है फोर ई सीज यत आनंद रूपम प्रकाश स्वरूप निरस्त प्रपंचम परिछेद हीनम अहम ब्रह्म वृत्या एक गम्यम तुरीय पर ब्रह्म नित्यम तदेवाहमस्मी यत आनंद रूपम दैट विच इज द नेचर ऑफ फुलनेस इट सेल्फ यू नो देर इज नो वर्ड विच विल एक्जैक्टली ट्रांसलेट आनंद आनंद इज आनंद ओके आनंद इज आनंद वॉट एल्स so that's why we have this confusion of various translation bliss joy etc 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 but those words makes it very experiential for anandam the closest word i have feel is i think is a sense of fullness what do you mean by fullness your heart is so full nothing can add or take away from it now there is some attempt at communication if you refer to the taitriya ananda is used in the sense of anantam limitlessness that which is limitless swami ji yes when when you sorry you are muted so i said when you don't feel missing anything in this world that's the feeling of wholeness feeling of uh, yeah that's why you can use those words wholeness fullness etc yeah therefore anantam desha kala aparichinnam that which is not conditioned by time and space anandam and prakasha swarupam not something inert nothing but the nature of consciousness itself i thought we saw so many you saw this fact na it is nothing but consciousness itself etc Swamiji. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I thought I, the book I have got it says Parichayda Shunyam. Same, same meaning Parichayda Shunyam or Parichayda Hinam. It means one and the same. Acha. Okay. Yeah. I didn't hear it properly. Yeah. 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 This the uh, version I have says Parichayda Hinam. Hinam. Some books may say Parichayda Shunyam. It is okay. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. That which does not have any sense of division. whether it is subject object all that we seen with so many okay that there is no subject object division there is no seer seen difference difference the seen gets re- uh, resolved into the seer into that one consciousness that's why prakasha swarupam why is he using the word prakasha prakasha literally means light because everything is seen in the light of awareness so ye prakash because look at it i see an object you will say oh in the light of the sun or the moon or the artificial light or whatever but the light i see because my eyes are bright my eyes are bright because my mind is bright my mind is bright because i am awareness 
And why am I awareness? Why am I awareness? There is no why after that. You can ask, why am I awareness? If you can show me an I without awareness. Not an I, but an I without awareness. Why is the water hot? Because the pot is hot. Why is the pot hot? Because the fire is hot. Why is the fire hot? You can ask that question only if you have seen a cold fire. <laughs> fire is heat. <laughs> Similarly, I am nothing but consciousness. I am nothing but I awareness and that I awareness is another word, consciousness, awareness, free from time and space. Therefore, nirastha prapancham. Prapancham nirastam. The world is not really there, he says. But Sanjay, you are referring to a book, no? the book is there, no? Book. We have seen this before. What is this? Okay, let's examine one of the objects in the world, the book. What is this thing that you call a book? Supposing I, I say there is it's nothing but paper. Am I wrong? Book is nothing but paper. Paper in this form is called a book. When you put a cover to it, bind it, etc., cut it to size, it's called a book. If it was kept in something like this, it, <coughs> supposing it is a sheaf of papers kept here, this would be called a file. <laughs> it won't be called a book, will it? <laughs> But both are nothing but paper. Therefore, file, book, etc. resolves into paper. Therefore, the book becomes what? An arrangement. An arrangement. A form given to paper. This is a sheaf of papers now. Okay, Just a sheaf of papers. <laughs> Therefore, the world, prapancham, as we saw, why prapancham? Because from the five tanmatras it has come, panchabhutas, five. Therefore, prapancham, pancham meaning five. Prakrashena, in a very special manner, that five is ordered together. A dialectical way of looking at the world. You can have a scientific way and say there are 132 atomic particles. It's okay. Prapancham. An arrangement. Therefore, one object in the world, the book is an arrangement of paper. Therefore, paper is a reality. But paper itself is an arrangement of wood pulp. Wood pulp can be in many forms including decoration pieces, your aesthetic pieces, etc. In this particular arrangement, it would be called paper. But wood pulp itself is an arrangement of certain molecules, hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons exist in many forms. One of them is paper. Another is my body. This is also a hydrocarbon. <laughs> This is also hydrocarbon. Your body is nothing but hydrocarbons. Or if you want to look at it in the Panchabhuta model, fine, five elements, five bhutas, akasha, vayu, agni, apa, prithvi. Use either model, it doesn't matter. It's an arrangement. Therefore, the truth of the paper, we are looking at paper, we are looking at this book. So, the truth of the, this is hydrocarbons. But hydrocarbon itself is an arrangement of atoms. Hydrogen and atoms arranged in a particular structure is a hydrocarbon. So atoms is the truth of this book. Atoms itself is an arrangement of particles. When we learnt it in school first time, we learnt neutron, proton, electron, three particles. Now there are 132. Believe me, after some time they will come 250 also. 
because you'll talk of the top cog, the, the bottom cog, the side cogs, all that you'll talk about. <laughs> then you'll get that goddamn particle also coming into the picture. They're still debating whether the data that you had in that experiment at burn is still revealed the God particle or not. <laughs> Some consensus will emerge soon. But particles, anything you take, you can further divide and resolve, further divide and resolve, further divide and resolve. Now what will have to be the final thing? Something that exists. You can't say non-existence. Why? We are talking about this book. If this class was offline, I could show you how much of reality this book has. has. If I whack you with this, you will stay whacked. <laughs> yeah, this is a small little book, true, but it's also a mighty weapon. <laughs> Properly used is a weapon. Not just to eradicate ignorance, physically also. <laughs> Both ways is a weapon. Okay. Yeah, so you can't say nothing, therefore there has to be something, but without a dimension. Because if you have a dimension, it becomes resolvable into its previous form. Because dimension means form, then it can be resolved into something else, which can be resolved into something else. So the final thing has to be what? Formless existence, something that exists but formless. Formless means not what? Don't think of amoeba, okay? Amoeba is shapeless, not formless. <laughs> formless means boundaryless. Boundaryless. Paricheda hinam. That which cannot be divided, circumscribed. That which cannot be said, this is separate from that. What else does a form do? A form separates this from other things, no? That paricheda, not possible. Paricheda hinam. Therefore, what? This book becomes an appearance of pure existence. Body is another appearance. Appearance? Yeah. Because you can keep on rearranging it, rearranging it, rearranging it. No? Yeah. I mean, rearranging the, the body has already started. You lost a hand, put an artificial one on. I, okay. In fact, all people who have cataract now, they operate and put a lens inside. No? I can see better now than before. <laughs> Hearing aid implants also will come. Heart has already come. Artificial hearts are already there. Which means what? All arrangements. You can play around with. Then you will grow genetically matching organs on a rat or a pig or something like that. Why? Because body is just an arrangement. Yeah. Name and form. At the back of the whole thing is pure existence. So the whole thing, what we call book, is only name and form. What we call prapancham is only name and form. Therefore, nirastam, negated. The rea what is negated? The world still exists for me to deal with. But the reality I give it. Because I give a reality to the world, I appear to be more finite. My finitude becomes real. Because I give a reality to the world. If you recognize both are nothing but arrangements, what I took as me is not me, this is just the body. This is my personal instrument. <laughs> And you are so selfish, you won't allow anybody else to use it also. <laughs> Your bike you may give to somebody else. Unless you are that big a bike lover. Yeah. I know a guy. He doesn't allow his wife also to ride his bike. <laughs> no.
and before marriage he told his wife so i'll put you on the bike on the same footing huh? <laughs> she still married him not because he was some great tolerant person she knew she could handle that in time it'll become different <laughs> women are smart that way they manage to handle that <laughs> and she made him sell off the bike also and get a car instead <laughs> smart woman okay <laughs> so the guys here be careful this is what your lot will be anyway you can't avoid it it's part of the game accept it the sooner you accept it the better it is <laughs> the happier you will be <laughs> Yeah. And they say Indian society is patriarchal. Women don't have any power. <laughs> Who are you joking about? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, therefore, nirastha prapancham parichedha hinam, that which cannot be made finite. अहम ब्रह्म वृत्येक गम्यम तुरीयम ओके दिस शोस हाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड द टीचिंग आई सेड आई विल डील विद दैट अहम ब्रह्म ने अ लिटिल बिट लेटर इज इट इट इन द मॉर्निंग आई सेड दैट बिकॉज़ आई वाज वेटिंग फॉर सोमनी टू फिनिश सम ऑफ द वर्सेस मेक माय जॉब इजीयर ओके मेक माय जॉब इजीयर ऑलराइट now when the teaching is unfolded the unfolding of the teaching is tatvamasi your brahman your that your jagat karanam brahman is a word sentence which has to be which has to be understood as aham brahmasmi because remember the whole the whole thing is purely cognitive if it is cognitive there has to be a thought in your mind no cognition takes place without a thought in your mind understand this very clearly you can't they just cognitive cognitive and leave it cognitive implies there is a thought that is why transing transcending the mind doesn't work but somebody has said turiyam next verse is turiyam yes what is turiyam that's also important to see okay what is this thing that you call turiyam turiyam literally means fourth literally okay so the upanishad presence it comes from the mandukya upanishad okay in manduki upanishad it's an analysis of your waking dream and deep sleep because we tend to take our experiences as real so he says all your experiences can be clubbed together as waking experiences dream experiences and the peculiar experience of deep sleep what other experience you have other than these three anyway somebody what about the rishi's experience of sitting under a tree we'll come to that later <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah if strange characters i think rishis are some strange characters they have to sit and feel the himalayan peak under their but only then they'll get realization <laughs> what are you really that <laughs> lover of pain or something that you want to sit under a yeah. and some modern teachers present it also like that many of the experiences teachers of modern teachers are presenting i have got it in a train compartment in suburban train compartment <laughs> I don't need the Himalayan peak for that. Though I went and spent a lot of time in the Himalayas after that. That was Nidhi Dhyasanam. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
anyway coming to the thing this is all your experience anyway waking dream and deep sleep so right now hopefully all of us are awake that's why i quickly went over to see whether everyone is awake you know at least all those people who have put their videos on are awake <laughs> those who have put their videos off i don't know <laughs> no i find a lot of reluctance in people to put their video on are don't worry we know your house can be a mess come and see my house then you will be per perfectly comfortable in putting your videos on my house is the biggest mess yeah i'm not saying an ashram i'm saying a bachelor pad what do you expect a bachelor pad to be <laughs> anyway jokes apart right now when you are awake i am aware of the waking world correct i am also aware of the fact i am the waker because you answer their question you are awake yeah you all nodded so you are aware of the waker and the waking world then you go to dream there you are aware of the dreamer and the dream world that's why when you get up you can say i dreamt because remember each of these state is mutually exclusive when the waker is there the dreamer and the deep sleeper is not there day dreamer may be there but the real dreamer is not there similarly when the dreamer is there waker and sleeper is not there when the sleeper is there waker and dreamer are not there all are mutually exclusive therefore in the, but i i connect all the three i relate to all the three <clears throat> that means what i am aware of the dream and the dream world i am aware of the sleep and the blanket of ignorance that is there covering everything i am aware of all that that is why i can link all the three together as my experiences the dreamer does not know the waker waker does not know the dreamer <laughs> waker knows waker knows this is how the waker knows yeah yeah the waker knows how does the waker know was the waker present in the dream state he was not present but i am linking up all that and since i am awake now and the waker is speaking he is saying yes i was I, i dreamt well i slept well i enjoyed my dream maja aaya so all this shows what something is linking up all that three therefore with respect to the three the upanishad says chaturtam manyante it is held as the fourth it is held as the fourth not really the fourth but with respect to the three talked about as the fourth then the upanishad goes further to say that is the one that is the real one savigneya that is the thing to be known that is the i to be known therefore it is not really the fourth state of experience it is that which is present in the three states of experience that which is independent of the three states of experience that's the meaning of the word turiyam like my old old example i have been using this example for the last 35 years ever since i started more since i started teaching in mumbai okay <laughs> what is the example my some of my old students will be getting bored of the example but anyway i came from rishikesh landed up in bombay Dehradun Express, Super Slow Express, okay. yeah. Bombay early morning. Got into a cab to come to Chambur. So I was driving down. I saw a big film poster. Bombay is full of film posters, you know. The greatest entertainment is Bombay is watching a movie. <laughs> so this movie poster was there, huge one. Okay, some inspector. I see this character in a inspectors, you know, police inspectors, police officers' uniform, and I ask the taxi driver, 
हुज दैट वो कौन है अरे साहब वो तो अमिताभ बच्चन है ही गिव्स मी ए नेम अमिताभ बच्चन सर अच्छा अमिताभ बच्चन इज ए इंस्पेक्टर आई एम कमिंग फ्रॉम ऋषिकेश में क्या जानू वो डू आई नो देन आई सी अनदर पोस्टर डॉन ए क्राइम लॉर्ड गैन गैन लुक्स फेमिलियर हु इज दैट अमिताभ बच्चन है सर अमिताभ बच्चन इज अ पोलिस ऑफिसर एज वेल एज अ क्रिमिनल बॉस क्राइम बॉस ओके बॉम्बे बी साधु कॉल बॉम्बे मायापुरी यू नो एनीथिंग कैन हैपन इन बॉम्बे देन आई सी ए थर्ड पोस्टर एज अ पॉलिटिशियन विद अ नाइस गांधी कैप कांग्रेस कैप रो कौन है हु इज दैट अमिताभ बच्चन अरे यार दिस मच आई नो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू स्टैंड फॉर इलेक्शन एक्सेट्रा यू हैव टू रिजाइन फ्रॉम योर गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स यू कैन बी अ पोलिस इंस्पेक्टर एंड स्टैंड फॉर इलेक्शन दैट मच यू आई नो एज अ साधु ये कैसा हो सकता है भाई हाउ कैन दैट बी एंड द गई से अरे महाराज जी आप तो ऋषिकेश के आए यू कम फ्रॉम ऋषिकेश दैट्स वाई यू डोंट नो ऑल दिस ओ तीन दो नकली है दोज आर दोज आर फॉल्स दोज आर ओनली रोल्स इन फिल्म इन मूवीज दिस इज द रियल वन ही शोज मी अ फोर्थ फोटोग्राफ फोर्थ फोटोग्राफ इज दैट द फोर्थ कैरेक्टर that is the one the three that i saw on the posters are only roles this is the real one he is an amitabh bachchan fan so he had it in his wallet <laughs> so that guy is the real one those three that i saw are roles that is playing those three are false mithya this is satyam <laughs> Similarly, waker, dream, dream, and deep sleep. Waker, dreamer, deep sleeper, mithya. They come and go. What is the real one? The eye consciousness. Eye consciousness that is aware of everything. That is the real one. Waker, dreamer, deep sleeper, mithya, apparent. They come and go. Limited entities, roles that you play in life. <coughs> waker, you may have multiple roles. Dream also you have multiple roles. Roles keep coming and going. Roles keep coming and going. You are the one, Turiyam. You are the real one. Savigne <coughs> yaha. That has to be known. That pure consciousness that appears as the waker in the waking world, that appears as a dreamer in the dream world, that appears as a deep sleeper in the sleep world in the world of sleep the blessed barrier between day and day that i gains a name like that fourth photograph of amitabh bachchan gains a name that turiyam it is not the fourth it is the one sa ekaha that is the one sa vigneya that is the thing to be known that is the thing to be known called turiyam yeah. but not really turiyam not fourth the one on which the three are dependent the one that is independent of the three then the upanishad goes on to say shantam shivam advaitam that's really non dual because a role doesn't count as a person if amitabh bachchan goes home wearing the uniform of an inspector because he just came from the shooting and tells his wife on the phone coming to the this thing okay please make a cup of tea for me i'm tired after whole day's work and she sees the inspector walking in is she going to make tea for two people Amitabh Bachchan and the inspector. <laughs> She may make tea for two people, for Mr. Amitabh Bachchan and Mrs. Jaya Bachchan. <laughs> She may make <laughs> the wife for herself and for him. <laughs> But they are going to make one for the inspector. <laughs> Why, Mithya? 
Amitabh Bachchan is a real. The other is a role. Waker is a role. You are the real. Dreamer is a role. You are the real. Sleeper is a role. You are the real. Turiyam is not a role. Turiyam is to indicate the I independent of the three roles. To indicate the I independent of the three roles. The one that is free of the roles. Therefore, this Turiyam, which is nothing but myself, that means really speaking what? Now, if you are using the word Turiyam, understand this. Especially those of you who are into yoga and everything. Okay? This Turiyam is present in the waker. This Turiyam is present in the dreamer. <laughs> this Turiyam is present in the sleeper. Because Turiyam is nothing but consciousness. You cannot have a waker without consciousness. You cannot have a dreamer without consciousness. You cannot have a sleeper without consciousness. The consciousness that links everything together. That's why you don't have a fourth state. There's only three states of experience. And the I that witnesses the three states. This Turiyam, this Turiyam, that is what he says. Aham Brahma Vritya Eka Gamyam. How is it known? How is the I known? The teaching is unfolded. Tattva Masi, they say the teaching is unfolded. You have to receive it. The teaching has to be received as, yes, that is true, I am Brahman. So for that, you gain what is known as a Brahma Kara Vritti. A special vritti because as I said last time, a few minutes back, cognition means there has to be a thought. So you mean to say there is a thought about the Atma? Yes. But then it is presented as beyond the mind. Yes, that's also true. The Upanishad makes two state types, types of trace statement. One day maybe I'll take a whole weekend camp only on these two types of statement. One type of statement says, it is beyond the mind. Manasa gocharam yato vacho anivartante aprapya manasasa From where the words come back along with the mind, unable to see it, is beyond. And there are other types of statements. Sutre mani ganaiva Like the thread that joins all the Jewels together in a garland, all the flowers together in a garland. Or another statement, very powerful statement, Manasa Eva Anudrashtavyam, by the mind alone it has to be recognized. If you take by the mind alone it has to be recognized, your studies will become purely academic. You can get an MA or a PhD on it. If you are taking only it is beyond the mind, etc., you will be on a trip all your life. Trying to get some sort of strange experience. Some trance-like state. Amji, is it possible? It's possible, alright. I sat down for a year in these type of experiences, didn't become wiser. This was before I joined the ashram. As a keen student, like how all of you are, before I joined the ashram. Okay. <laughs> All their experience didn't work. It gave me a very powerful mind and a mastery over my mind. But beyond that, it didn't work. Beyond that, it didn't work. Yeah. That means what? You have to see both the statements together. Apparently, contradictory statements have to be seen together. How is that possible? Yep. Okay, I want you fully alert here because this is there are limitations of the medium. Okay. Now look at what happens. Where is my things gone? Ah, yeah, yeah, here, here. Pen. When you look at this pen, two operations happen in your mind. In recognition of this pen, 
there are two operations in your mind one your mind has to take the form of the object very important why if object outside is pen and your mind takes a different object you will not be seeing the pen see we are all students of science modern education therefore our idea of perception how we see objects how we see but is purely based on the theory of light light is reflected to the eyes there is a falls on the retina which is the screen then my brain has to interpret that and say it is a pen fine i am walking on a road there is something lying down there the light is reflected to my eyes dim light was reflected all right it is forming an image but the thought is it is a snake whereas what is there is rope how does this error happens if it is purely photometry theory of light that error cannot happen your brain is a computer it should say insufficient data insufficient light <laughs> but no your mind concludes it's a snake and samji that is because people are afraid of snakes no i come from mallu land we worship snakes not a problem we worship ishwara in the form of a snake god not an issue therefore there is no fear in rishikesh when we are first building an ash- our ashram we would go for a walk and we will find the snake has also come out for a walk <laughs> so the snake goes for his walk i go for my walk what is the problem <laughs> we are doing our evening aarti in the temple a snake also comes there you also want to worship shiva <laughs> no problems <laughs> so it's not because of that <laughs> there can be 101 psychological reasons you can give but none of them are conclusive but one thing is definite if the mind does not take the form of that object you will not recognize it not only that now why is that mind taking that vritti is called thought that form important because the remoteness of this object and you in terms of time space ignorance because this is not remote in time and space it's right in my hand but is it a ball pen or a gel pen no no it's a ball pen all right <laughs> it is not remote in terms of time and space but it's remote in terms of ignorance this remoteness has to go by this operation called vritti vyapti mind taking the form of the object got to avoid this then for it to be my knowledge there has to be a subject object relationship with this this is a pen i don't say i pen you may say ipad or iphone but you don't say i pen not yet at least <laughs> is it this is a pen there is a subject object relationship then the knowledge is complete wherein this is a pen i am the knower of the pen now comes the tricky job the teacher is teaching about i atma is there ignorance in the mind about the atma when you start your studies definitely even after some studies definitely <laughs> for that ignorance to go atma is not away from you in terms of time and space you are the atma all right but it looks away because of ignorance for that ignorance to go mind has to take the form of the atma and what is the form of the atma formless limitless so mind taking the form of the atma is what the mind being resolved into the eye consciousness but it is there all right mind is there it is not gone away you are not in a trance or anything there now this first operation 
vritti vyapti the mind taking the form will negate the ignorance about the atma from your mind then can you say this is the atma you cannot say this because it's i there is no need for objectification for this pen there was a need for objectification because you are different from the pen no one known different exists pen is an unknown object for you i am never unknown i always know i am i exist therefore what do you need you need that much of the vritti to negate that ignorance vritti vyapti it is called then the second operation of objectification in sanskrit known as phala vyapti not necessary not possible not necessary why i am an ignorance about i gone what is left behind pure consciousness limitlessness itself when one day in the teaching you say ha ah, that's ha ah, yeah uh, that is brahma akara vritti the vritti of recognition it doesn't hang around for a long time shankarayan atma bodha says kritva gnanam swayam nashyet having give, given you that knowledge the thought of recognition negating ignorance what happens to the vritti that also dies down into the consciousness that you are you are not going to go back go on after that aham brahmasmi i can't move because if i move there will be an earthquake not earthquake universe quake <laughs> such a thing doesn't happen yeah. so this is called the thought of recognition what he says here aham brahma vritti ek gamyam if this vritti is not taking place in your mind you are not yet understood what vedanta is about no don't ask me samji how do i know whether this thought has taken place or not <laughs> when the thought has taken place you will know because that day the knowledge will be clear to you then doubt etc i can come up to cloud it that's okay i had that ruti before i joined the ashram then lot of other doubts etc clouded up but then you worked on the clarity in the learning in the teach further the exposure to the teaching worked on the clarity of the knowledge etc worked on the clarity and worked on owning it up and making it a fact of your life as well therefore brahma vritti ekagamyam that's why it can be known only to this the teaching has to culminate into this because it is this thought that takes place in your mind that negates the ignorance that is there in your mind the teaching make the thought happen but the thought has to happen that means the mind has to be available right there for the teaching to work can't be distracted that's why home environment is not the best of environment to learn because the teach a kid is calling you something your mom is saying something somebody else is saying something your maid pops up and says what shall i cook for today <laughs> you know yeah i know for the american mind the indian household can be a society like you know <laughs> so many people hear this <laughs> yeah but mm, the fact we live yeah therefore this is a brahma aham brahma vritti ekagamyam in fact this recognition itself is turiyam if you want to state this is the real turiyam other turiyam is artificial trance etc <laughs> yeah some experiential thing it is this is recognition that i am that consciousness that param brahman nityam tadeva aham asmi yeah. that is me he says that param brahman which had taken that something to be known is now what the very content of the knower the very truth of the knower when i started my studies i had to know brahman i am finite i am a finite entity sometimes happy sometimes sad sometimes lonely sometimes okay then i go to a teacher recognizing other things don't work 
and he teaches me and it clicks inside ah that is true that is true yeah how do i understand that turiyam is a consciousness because what is it that plays the roles what is constant in the waker dreamer deep sleeper consciousness alone nothing else is nothing else is constant in waking dream and deep sleep nothing is constant other than consciousness everything changes <laughs> that's how you recognize it and when you inquire into your true nature of who is this i that is aware of the three who is this i the unfoldment of that is how you recognize that you are nothing but pure consciousness limitless consciousness the teaching takes care of that nothing else <laughs> yeah and your mind inquiring thinking debating on in line with the teaching in line with the teaching where you can challenge your own understanding and come to a better clarity that's how it takes place ready to see a little bit more or tired little bit more okay few minutes 5 6 minutes okay yad agnyanata bhati vishwam samastam विनिष्टम च सध्यो यद आत्मप्रबोधे मनोवागतीत विशुद्ध विमुक्त परब्रह्म नित्यम तदेवाहमस्मे यद अज्ञानता भाति विश्व समस्त आउट ऑफ दैट नॉट रेकग्नाइजिंग नव लुक एट द वर्ल्ड द वर्ल्ड इज ऑल्सो नथिंग बट प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस एक्सिस्टेंस कॉन्शियसनेस रूमर दिस बुक इट रिजॉल्व इन टू एक्सिस्टेंस not into nothingness yeah if anybody is nothing come home and i'll give you a whack with it <laughs> don't worry after that i'll take care of that this thing give you a nice cup of tea and everything okay <laughs> i mean that's called experiential learning okay yad agnyanatah bhati out of this ignorance i don't recognize the existence consciousness therefore samastam vishwam bhati i see only the world the world of objects emotions thoughts experiences etc that's all i see i take the world as real the world has a functional validity but can you take anything in the world as real can you take your experiences as real when you are walking on the earth it looks flat it you experience a flat earth but you know the earth is round you experience a rising sun and a setting sun but you know it neither rises nor sets you experience a blue sky it is not blue <laughs> yeah everything you experience is not true <laughs> why agnyanatah i mean can you believe that a yeah, 100 years couple of 100 years back people would sail hugging the shore they would not go right out into the sea because they are afraid they'll fall off the earth <laughs> that because the world was flat columbus had to put his two pistols on the head of the helmsman helmsman is the one who holds the wheel and says keep that straight don't shift here and there the fear of the bullet piercing his head <laughs> kept the helmsman going because edge has not yet come na edge has not yet come na when it comes we'll turn around the boss will say captain will say turn around and then he kept going kept going kept going they didn't see the end <laughs> they landed up in west indies and thought it was india that's another different thing <laughs> and there are today's also there are religious institutions that teach science is wrong earth is flat and the sun goes round the earth there are religious organization that te- treat it teach this how they exist in today's world i don't know and what will happen to the students passing out of those institutions 
tragic. Even when we had only Vedic education, this problem, these type of problems was never there. Because he taught the board the world being round, then the rotational effect, all that we have, is there mentioned in the our religious thing, scriptures. So we never had that issue. Yeah, we never had that issue. Anyway, that apart. Yet Agnanataha Bhati Vishwam Samastam. But I take it as all finite experiential entities. I don't take it as finite. I think the world is so vast and I am so small. Instead of it being other way around, I am the limitless consciousness, the world is just playing around here. Play, world is just that, like how thoughts arise in me and die into me. Similarly, the world, the rise in consciousness, dies down into consciousness. Yeah. Vinishtam cha sadhyo yad atma prabhode. And when I understand the truth myself completely, atma prabhode, when the self knowledge is complete, then what? Vinishtam cha sadhya. All this is not really there. It's only there experientially, it is not really there. It is not there as a reality. It is only there as an experience. Enjoy the experience. Yeah, enjoy the experience. Yeah. Why do you go to watch a sunset when you know it is not real? <laughs> enjoy the experience. It's fine. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, therefore, Vinishtan. Then, Mano Avagatitam. Mana Avaga Atitam. That which is really beyond the mind. Why beyond the mind? Now you look at it. Previously he said by the mind alone. Here he is saying it is beyond the mind. Correct. Why? It cannot be objectified. It has to be recognized as I. You can never have a subject-object relationship with it. You can never say this is the Atma or this is Brahman. You have to say only I am Atma. I am Brahman. You cannot say the other way around. You will never know it as this. You will never be able to objectify it. Therefore, the words and the mind falls back, unable to objectify it. But that vritti, that mind process, takes care of the ignorance and what I am is recognized as pure consciousness. Vishuddham, vimuktam. Never was I bound. What are you talking about gaining moksha? I was never bound in the first place. I was never a finite guy. Then why do you have to be infinite, become infinite? I always was infinite. Mistaken to be a finite entity. Mistaken. Mistake gone, I am free. Mistake gone, I am free. Parabrahman nityam tadevaham asmi. That Param Brahman. That absolute consciousness. Brahman is nothing but me. That which I am seeking is actually the sort. The seeking is a denial of the sort, actually speaking. That is why the seeking has to gain an edge that I have to know. People call themselves seekers, but they actually have to become jignasos, people who want to know the truth. Once that transition is made, it is much easier. Therefore, Brahmevaha must be, I am that Brahman. Why that repetition, Brahmevaha must be? Because he is giving a clue. Do some nididhyasana on it, make it your own. You have gained an insight, make it your own by some contemplation. Make it your own. Make it your own. Contemplation is not to gain some new knowledge. It is to make that oh, knowledge that you already gained in the teaching your own. What has gone in through the years has to sink into the heart. <laughs> That's a statement I never forgot. I heard it 40 years ago. <laughs> More than 40 years ago, 50 years ago. And I never forgot that. Yeah. So when that happens, then what? Then you are free. Samji, what do you do after that? After that? Go and have a cup of coffee or kya? <laughs> you are free. <laughs> what do you mean, what do you do after that? Yeah, have a cup of coffee. I mean literally, okay? You have been sitting for two hours and listening to us. Okay? <laughs> From four o'clock onwards. <laughs> it's a good thing. Okay? Yeah. So, any questions or we call it a day? What is it? 
I need some help in understanding the word consciousness. We use the word consciousness, that's not very clear. One second, let me just check that. Okay. Yeah, we use the word consciousness, that is true. Yeah, I will explain more of this next class, okay? I will explain more of that next class. This may be a good time to call it a day. Okay. Any other questions or clarifications? Thank you, Swamiji. Okay, take care. All the best. Okay, yeah. Thank you, All the best. Take care. Yeah. Thank you, Swamiji. Yeah. Take care. The night is still young. Have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you. All take care. Yeah. All the best. Yeah. Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you. All take care.